Hi guys. Hi. Hello. How's it going today? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I am doing another collection video and in this collection video we're looking at all my face palettes. Now in my spreadsheet I have these quantified as full face palettes, bronze palettes, blush palettes, but for purposes of this video, I'm doing all of my face palettes in one video. So some of them are just blush, some of them are just highlight, some of them are a combination of blush, bronzer, and highlight. There's a, a little bit of everything in here and I'm doing them all together because I don't feel like doing, you know, f four separate videos on face palettes. At one point in time, there were only 14 of these in my collection. I don't know how many there is anymore. Actually, at one point in time, there were only like three of these in my collection. Um, but apparently, I have gone a little bit hog wild with the face palette collection. I do not think I need this many. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through these today. I'm going to show you my collection and then we're going to decide whether we're keeping things or whether we are getting rid of things and God, this is going to be super hard. I just want to let you know that right now, but I'm actually excited about the prospect of going through these because I have so many of these that they're kind of dispersed all over the place throughout my collection. I have some in my blush drawer, some in my highlighter drawer, some in a separate drawer entirely from my vanity space, and I can't wait to dig in. With that said, for those of you new here, hello! My name is Donna. I am a lover of all things high in colorful beauty and self-care. I also work in the beauty industry as a field leader for Ulta. I get a lot of education in my position. I like to bring you that education. I also just kind of like to talk about makeup, so that is what I'm here doing, talking about makeup. And I hope that you're here for it. If you are, I would love if you'd subscribe before you left. That said, let's roll into this collection video. How many of these do you think are here? Pause the video and put it in the comments. I'm going to tell you, it's a lot more than I thought it was. There's like 39 palettes here or 40. I don't know. Maybe I lost count somewhere, but there's almost 40, if not 40 palettes sitting in front of me that are face palettes that I very rarely use that I don't know why I have if I'm honest. Let me just explain a couple things here. This is a mirror. That is why I have it turned this way so you're not blinded. This is my audio box for my audio which is above my head and this is a humidifier that is really cool but I don't want you to have to listen to it. So there's that. I can tell you right now, I know that there's a couple that I'm going to get rid of. So let's start there. This is a highlighter palette from Fenty Beauty and it is the Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Palette and I wasn't getting any use from it as a highlighter palette. So I put it into my eyeshadows as an eyeshadow palette and I hated it as eyeshadows they creased. They were awful. They were awful. The only one that was any good was this one truly. I really do love this one. I'm saddened by the fact that I'm getting rid of this, but I think I just need to let it go. I'm never going to use it on my face. There's just, it's too glittery for me, for my preferences, for my face. It's also just not what I desire for my eyes. So this is going to be decluttered. One down. Super excited about that. This one I am also decluttering. So this is supposed to be bronzer highlight blush and I put it into my blushes because I hate this bronzer. I liked this highlight and I didn't really love this blush but together it made a beautiful glowy blush. I have a ton of other glowy blushes that I pull for. I don't really need this into my collection and I know that somebody can get some really great use out of it. I think I used it like maybe five times total. It was in a shop my stash at one point in time and I put it into my blushes because I really did think I would use it as a blush and I just am not. This is the Naked Flushed in Native by Urban Decay Cosmetics. That is a declutter. So excited. 
these will stay. These are Sydney Grace single um, pans of uh, highlight. I have Melody, Pink Mist, Immortality. This one is Pumpkin Spice Latte Extra Whip. And these ones are older in my collection. And then these are the two new ones that I got in um, my most recent Sydney Grace Christmas in July haul. This one is in Deep Devotion. And this one is in Venetian Gold. No, <laughs> Velvet Gold. Um, all of them are very different, but all of them are very, very beautiful. And I just think like her highlighters are actually pretty just pretty impactful pretty beautiful like that is stark beautiful and I thought this one was maybe too deep for me but I really just kind of love it and it's beautiful when it's just kind of patted on as a blush topper so I am going to keep it and then on this side I have the Ofra what is this Rodeo no Beverly Hills this I could probably honestly get rid of. I never use this. Should I get rid of that? No, I'm going to keep that unless I have it in another palette, which I don't think I do. This is a no name like lavender gold highlight, but look, look at how pretty that is. That is just so, so gorgeous. Can you guys even see anything? It is dark out, so I have to be using lighting. I just want to make sure that you guys are able to see everything that I'm doing here. I actually think I might get rid of this. That's it right there. I don't know. I have a really hard time because this is just such a beautiful highlighter, but I just don't see myself using it because it's so icy, but also because it's such a little tiny pan. I wonder if I put this in with my eyeshadow singles, if I will like it. Mmm. If, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get rid of that if I put this on my face it's gonna make me look sick and I'm gonna put it in my eyeshadow singles <laughs> god come back and forth back and forth back and forth I'm gonna put this in my eyeshadow singles this one is by the bomb I think and here's the true tea I just don't know if I love this it's pretty but it's pretty orange and I mean that would be a really pretty like blush but I just I don't love the balm cosmetics do you guys love the balm cosmetics I just don't love them every single product I've had from them so far I've declared I'm gonna declutter this all right this is by God knows <laughs> this is by Ciate so I really do like both of these I can't remember where that one came from but they're really pretty both of them this one is the no name and this one is Ciate I, I just think that they look really similar but also not one's kind of peachy and one's kind of pink I'm gonna keep both of them I just don't I just don't see a reason to get rid of them. I think I can move all of this over to this side. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I can do it? I do. Nope. Really? Dang it. Well, so close. Dang it. I'm going to get rid of this. Because truth be told, I have... Ofra highlights that I love. That's so blinding. Do I want to get rid of it? So I'm going to put that into the maybe pile. Maybe I'll hold on to it and get rid of one of these because they're so, so similar. I think I have to get rid of this one, right? Because it's too dark. Which one is that? I can't remember. All right, we're going to put all three of those into the maybe. God, I'm a hot mess. These are stain. Those are maybes. We're going to but look, this whole, there's nothing in there. Granted, there wasn't a lot in there to begin with. Um, here's the true tea too. When I'm done deciding, these will probably go into that Adept palette. And I'll give this palette to my daughter to put her single eyeshadows in. Because she's taking quite a few of my single eyeshadows. I know I'm getting rid of this. 
this is the balm. Like I said, I just don't love the balm. And when I used this, I liked it well enough, but I'm never going to pull for this palette for eyeshadows. And these five are all eyeshadows. And then this is all blushes. So why there's eyeshadows in with blushes, I have no idea to be honest. This is Mary Lou, but I'm not part of the crowd that ever had some stupid fascination with Mary Luminizer. So that's not going to hurt my heart to get rid of. And it's honestly not that great in my humble opinion as a highlighter. It just is really super powdery. So oh, every time somebody says, who remembers Mary Lou? I'm like, I have it and it kind of sucks. So I am going to get rid of this palette. I just don't foresee myself ever getting any use out of it. Oh my God, there's so much here. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. These two palettes are stain. I have the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow and Natasha Denona Tan and Bronze. Bronze and Tan. Tan and Bronze and Glow. Tan, Bronze and Glow. <laughs> I love both of these palettes. I love all the shades within these palettes. There was at one point in time I thought this had gone bad, but it wasn't. I just like moved it around a little bit and it worked out fine. Um, you can see I haven't used this shade a whole lot and I have never used this glowy blush, but I am getting into a place where I really, really love glowy blushes. So I, I find myself being drawn into that, but these are going nowhere. Another one I know is going nowhere, another two I can say are these two. This one is by Glam Glow and this one is by Cover Effects. And you can see this one I've used so much that there's a little bit of a pan in this shade here. I actually cannot recall how this happened if I'm honest, but I love these palettes so dang much. They're super impactful, super beautiful. This one doesn't really work for my skin. It's just so, so deep. That one is a little bit, I think, too deep for my skin tone. This one, not too bad, but also not fantastic. This one is beautiful, stark. I use these two. This one has a little bit of a pink shiftiness to it. This one is a beautiful gold. Um, I really do love this palette and I use it a lot for like inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. And also I kind of just really dig this packaging. Like this is the coolest packaging. It's plastic. It is just, I feel like that makes it like almost break proof. And then this one is by Cover Effects. This is their rose gold bar. It's a highlighting palette. So, so pretty, those three colors. Look at how gorgeous. That gold is like the perfect buttery margarine gold. It's so, so pretty. I purchased this at like TJ Maxx a couple years ago. I'll be holding on to that. I really do like it. This, listen, I walked in to Ulta Beauty and this and this whole Too Faced Born This Way line was staring me in the face and I had to have everything. Well, this and the eyeshadow palette. And I think that even if I didn't love the product inside that I would keep this because the packaging is just so beautiful. But with that said, these are all really, really pretty. I don't necessarily love this for what it's for. I do believe that this is supposed to be like a face powder, but I don't do face powders. And I don't necessarily love this one, Dazzle, for what everybody else loves it for. Like they're like, oh, it's super, like see me from the moon. I don't really think that that's see me from the moon. Like I do think that it's pretty and I do think it's reflective, but I don't think it's super reflective. This one is soft focus. I would never wear that all over my face. Do you see how shiny that is? That is crazy. This one is glow and it is just stunning. It's so, so pretty. I mean, that doesn't look like much. This looks like it's much better than this, but you guys can see, I think the glow difference between the two. I just think it just makes my hand look wet. 
This one is pretty, but it's so subtle. This one is really what I pull for typically when I go into this. And then the other one, I think it's supposed to be an all over the face powder. That will never happen. It's just kind of a beast to store. I don't love storing it. This is the Ofra midi palette feeling myself. I was thinking about getting rid of this, but I was thinking about getting rid of this because I thought I had all three of these in full size and I don't. I just have the one in full size. I'm going to hold on to this because this is Rodeo Drive and this is Pillow Talk and I love those two. I do have this in full size, but I don't have these in full size or in any other capacity. So I will be holding on to this, but this one I think I'm going to get rid of. This is the Ofra Madison Miller palette and look. I love this blush and I also love these highlighters, I do think, but I have so many blushes that I love more than that. And these highlighters are pretty, but I think I have like Ofra highlighters that I like better. Like these are not really all that in a bag of chips and I find myself never pulling for this palette. So I am going to get rid of this palette. Another one you could never pull out of my cold dead hands is this one. This is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism palette and I tried to get this for eons before I was able to pick it up. I love this palette so much. I love dipping my brush in any way shape or form in this palette like even if I like go into one color or go into multiple colors it always looks stunning and beautiful it blends fantastic I am a fan of Lunar Beauty I always have been a fan of Lunar Beauty ever since palette number one which I purchased at launch I will never get rid of this one that I am shocking myself with right now is this guy here I've always said I love the really deep impactful blushes really peachy blushes or really neutral blushes. I picked this up knowing full well that this was the deep skin version of their blush kits. This one is in gradient. Um, I, what was I thinking? I cannot wear these blushes. I cannot wear these blushes. I've tried. They're all used. This one and this one work on my face, but these two, this one makes me look like I have a giant bruise and this one makes me look like I'm dead. Um, these, I have better versions of these two colors in my blush collection. So this is going to be decluttered. This one I know I'm keeping. It's rather new to my collection actually. There are like th this shade here, I can't wear this is such a orange coppery copper like I could wear it as an eyeshadow but I can't wear it as a blush I mean a highlight that's the only one really that doesn't work for my skin tone and um, the rest of them really do work and this was my first like la -di da into Danessa Myrex and I love this palette so I will be keeping it this is the Danessa Myrex light work palette Another one that I wouldn't get rid of if you paid me a million dollars to get rid of would be, well, maybe, <laughs> but it's the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush. This was also a highly coveted palette by myself for a very, a very long time. These are all cream. There's a cream like duo chromey blush, uh, a cream regular blush. This is in Dar Daria and then a cream glow base. And then the powders that go with those glowy, you know, counterparts. I just wear them however I want to wear them. I love this palette. I love this palette so much. This one is the Daria one. They also have one in Citrine, which has like a, like almost fluorescent yellow um, highlighter in it, which I think is kind of odd. But of all of the Natasha Denona, you know, face colors I have and eyeshadows like I don't think I there is none that are duplicated so I really love this I will be holding on to this as well you know the rest of these are going to be really hard because I don't know that I want to get rid of any of them this is stain 
This is the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess. This is a highlighting palette also. There are, you know, quite, there are a couple shades in here I can't wear as highlighters, but the rest of them I have used and worn and love. This was from the Greek Goddess collection. This is so old in my collection. I will never get rid of it. So there's that. This is still in its package. I got this from FabFitFun. It's by Deuce. It is the Douche Posh Power Powder Palette. I do believe it was in my backup bins at one point in time. I don't think I need this. And I can put it into my giveaway drawers and give it to somebody who will use it and love it. I don't need it. This one is also new. This is by Hip Dot. This is the Sun Goddess Four Shade Palette. This one hasn't been touched, hasn't been used. I don't need this either. So two brand new guys. These guys can go into my giveaway bins. This one I have used. This is by Mellow. Um, you know, I don't mind this, but I also don't see me pulling for this over and above all the other face palettes that I have in my collection. I pulled this into a project pan, or not a project pan, I shot my stash. It really wasn't that bad. I really quite liked it actually, but I know that there's bound to be somebody that I can give this to that's gonna like it and get some more use out of it than I ever will. So I am going to declutter this as well. This one is by Beauty Bay and it is the Lighting My Best Light in Delicate. I haven't used this either. I do think because I love the Beauty Bay blush formula and I love the Beauty Bay eyeshadow formula, I do think that even though this is new, I can put it in my giveaway drawers, I do think that this is one that I wanna keep and try to use and see if I like it. These are singles in a magnetic pan. These two are the exact same. They are Ofra Winter Rose, exactly the same. Look at how pretty that is. That is super pretty. This one has hard pan, but I can take the hard pan off. I do think then I am gonna get rid of the brand new one, maybe give it to my daughter, and I am going to keep this one. This is also an Ofra one. This is Ofra Pink Satin. It's a really pretty baby pink. And then this one is Sydney Grace Princess. And this is such a beautiful, like deep um, winter rose and princess, like very, very similar. You know, I think winter rose is just brown enough that it looks different. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it's just, enough different that I kind of want to hold on to it. So we'll see after I do my blushes overall if I decide to hold on to it or no. Then this, because I put it into the maybe pile because I didn't know if I was going to have a space for it, but I really did want to hold on to it. I am going to put it in here, do that. And then on the other side, so then I can take these guys and instead of giving my daughter this palette, either way, I will have a palette to give to my daughter. So, and I know that these are in here and they typically are in my single blush drawer, but there are three blushes in each one of these palettes. So I have the Blush Trio in Peachy Love by ABH. I have the Blush Trio in Pool Party and the blush trio in pink passion, or oh, cocktail party. Cocktail party, pink passion, peachy love. This one I really do love. It has seen the most use, but we are going to swatch these guys. Okay, those are the three different like trios. This cocktail party, I mean, I don't think I have anything. Well, am I going to regret this? I think I'm going to get rid of all three of these. Mm, we're going to put them in the maybes for now. I've gotten rid of so much. I almost feel like if I got rid of these, I would be mad at myself. This one is new to me, so I am going to hold on to it because I haven't even used it yet. It is the Zoeva Opulence Blush Palette, and 
it's got two blushes and a highlight in it and I just think it's gorgeous <laughs> I haven't even used it yet but I do think it's gorgeous I love this like deep tone of this one here and the kind of like neutrally peachy one and then this highlight just looks like a really cool toned like almost lemon yellow almost like a meringue I don't know it's so so pretty it it stirs up something weird in my soul like I don't know what it is but I had always had my eye on this and when I finally purchased it I ended up getting a free like strobe palette with it and I did declutter that not that long ago but I am going to keep this guy I have this Morphe blush kit and if you guys aren't new around here you know that my mantra is Morphe doesn't make anything I need but I love this blush palette you know what I wonder there's a couple shades in here that I think are much like some of the shades in here like look at those top three shades right there look just uh, this one even looks like this but this one is a like a shimmer and this is a matte so those top three shades right there look just like this I'm gonna compare because I love this blush palette if I'm honest I think it's just so pretty on the skin and it kind of gives a little bit of glowiness to the skin without being like highlighty I see that I don't think that it like exacerbates texture I just think it's really pretty which astounds me because I just don't love Morphe we all know this right I do think that these are probably very very similar let's see this one to this this one to this and this one to this they're like identical right I do think that this one the ABH one is better hmm let's look at not this because there's really not any oranges in there let's look at this one is there like that one and that one maybe no no I do love that but I think that that opulence palette probably has that same color in there at the risk of hating myself for doing this because I'm getting rid of one but keeping three I am going to get rid of this one because these just felt better and performed better than this and I had been holding this in such high regard I'm gonna get rid of this this is the 8c cool pro morphe blush palette and I'm gonna keep these ABH because the colors in this were really what I loved but those colors are all in those ABH palettes so this morphe palette which is a highlighting palette is gonna go I don't need this five of these shades are darker than I want to wear on my face and this one I just won't wear on my face so ultimately I have three or two shades that I would wear on my face so this is going to go also this is the 8s stellar impact my daughter is going to love me this is the pixie hello kitty from glow charming glow face palette and I just got this these work really well as glowy blushes and highlighters. I will be keeping this. I just had it in a shop my stash. I love it. It's beautiful. So I will be keeping that. This is one of my favorite items on the planet. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. And man, I just love this so, so much. There's one bronzer in here that I don't use. And these two I don't use a lot, but I do like them. I really love this palette so I will be keeping that and just look at the packaging it is so so pretty I forgot about these that are in my shop my stash so let's go through these real quick this I just started using because it's in my shop my stash I've had it forever it's the sun dipped glow glow kit you can see it looks brand new I will be holding on to this for now this I actually just bought as well as the Cali Contour by Smashbox. I love this. I've used it a couple times since putting it into my shop, my stash. Really like it a lot. Um, this is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 by Juvia's Place. I love this palette. I will be keeping this palette. And this is a brand new to the market, brand new to me, Natasha Denona blush and highlight cheek palette it's the dream collection 
cheek trio beautiful i will be holding on to that so that's actually what 43 <laughs> 43 face palette then this one by pat mcgrath this is pat mcgrath labs divine blush and glow trio this has got two blushes and a highlight and i have used this so much and i love it so much i will be holding on to it this abh glow kit is in sugar i've used it a handful of times i do love it and i will be holding on to it it will stay i can't see me parting with any more of these palettes if i'm honest this one i kind of go back and forth with because i'm never gonna use maybe i'll give this to my daughter but these are really great inner corner highlights and I love using them for that which is why I keep it in my collection and why I will probably continue to keep it into my collection this is the blush bazaar by Tarte you guys I reviewed this and this is the most watched video on my channel I love the Tarte 12 hour Amazonian clay blushes I think that they are just fantastic it also has two highlighters in it it is a gorgeous gorgeous blush and highlight palette and until these go bad I will be holding on to this these two I kind of go back and forth with they are both look at them look at them tell me what the difference is they look like they're the same exact palette the only difference is this sticker on the back of that one versus not on the back of the other one they confuse the hell out of me if I'm honest but one is the pro glow with the blush <laughs> blushes so full face right you've got bronzer highlight blush this one is just bronzer and highlight i don't know why they made two different palettes both have a cream and the rest are powders just one has blushes in it and one does not one is just bronzer and highlight and the other one is full face nothing in them is the same there's not one shade that is duplicated between the two even though it looks like that some of them are pretty similar like this one and this one look like they could be the same shade just me looking at them but in the viewfinder they look very very different i'm gonna hold on to both of them one goes into my bronzer and highlight drawer and one goes into my you know full face but now i don't have as many as i did before so hell maybe they'll both go into the same the same drawer I just need to figure out a way for me to like look at them and tell the difference because I can't tell the difference then we have these two palettes one is just a blush palette and one is a highlight and bronze palette this is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Belgian Waffle palette and I love this palette now this shade is a no-go for me but the rest of them I can use and I love this is supposedly a bronzer I will not ever use that as a bronzer I don't really know what I could use that for so maybe a highlight I guess but I won't get rid of this this is a really good palette and I really like BH as a brand this one the weekend vibes Bellini palette this is all highlight I mean all blush and look at these blushes those are beautiful blushes <laughs> now I'm back in these ABH palettes I need to keep this one I think every single shade except for this one is in this palette you know what I'm gonna get rid of this because I think I've got enough similarities I mean the only one I really don't have is this one but I can buy a single blush that color but I also would be willing to bet that I probably have another blush that color somewhere. There's no reason to keep this when I've got those colors in this Bellini palette. And I like, I like the Bellini palette so, so much. It doesn't make any sense for me to keep both. And I get three more colors in this one item than what I've got in this one. And even though I'm keeping two of the other ones, mm, yep, I'm getting rid of that surprising this is the NARS hot tryst palette and I won't be getting rid of this now here's the shame with it these two are highlights right look at how pretty those are I mean my god the other four 
our blushes and they're just they're glowy blushes and while they look great in my finger on my finger and in swatch they actually perform quite sheer on your face but I love them because they're just so glowy and so beautiful and because they're sheer they take a bit to build up there's like literally no going overboard with these blushes and sometimes sometimes your girl gets a little bit blushy because she goes overboard with the blushes and I love this I love this palette so so much so I'm gonna hold on to this and this was actually a gift and if I'm honest I hold on to it throw this away though because I don't love that I don't have any of these I don't have Tickle, I don't have Dallas, I don't have Dandelion, I don't have California. I do have Hula over and over and over again. But this is the only rendition of these four things that I have. Now, I would love to depot this, but I don't want to destroy. I don't want to destroy any of those things. I've used this a bunch of times. I don't know why it still looks like I haven't, but oh, look at how pretty. I mean, I just, I just think that so simple, but so pretty. Benefit has some really beautiful, really, really beautiful powders. I just, I can't, I can't get rid of it. I couldn't get rid of anything on the Cheek Leaders palette anyways, if I wanted to. It was a gift to me from my friend Grace right after I started with Ulta Beauty. And because of that, there's a little bit of sentimental, you know, mentality tied to it. And I just love it so much. But also, moreover, there are five products in this palette. And of those five, five products, four of them I do not have. And I love. With that said, there are 30 one palettes here one of which being my singles you know palette which I consider my face palette because it holds singles of highlights and blushes this will probably go in to the adept palette that I have that houses my overflow of single eyeshadows and then I will have 30 face palettes and one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven that I will be getting rid of, two of which will go into my giveaway bins because they're brand new, and then two singles. So eleven palettes that we're getting rid of and thirty-one that we are keeping. I forgot to count this palette, which was counted amongst the palettes. At the beginning so actually I ended up decluttering 12 palettes and there were 43 total and I kept 31 that's still a lot but much more manageable than 43 God knows how I ended up with 43 in the first place we got rid of 25% of my face palettes which I'm actually pretty stoked about I'm happy that we're back down to 30 versus, you know, closer to 50. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on the palettes that I got rid of, the ones that I'm keeping. Let me know what you think. Um, I think I surprised myself quite a bit here today. I knew this was going to be hard for me. Blushes, highlights, and palettes, that's all we have left. And those three are going to be very, very hard for me. So I'm really happy to have gotten rid of anything, if I'm honest, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the ride I took us on. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll want to subscribe before you go. I have a couple more of these to do, a few more of these to do. Like I said, blushes, highlights, palettes. I hope that you'll subscribe so that you can see those. They'll be coming shortly. Yep. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. I hope you and yours are well. I hope that you all are having a safe and healthy and sound year. And I hope that you are all loving each other, but loving each other from afar. And until next time. Bye guys.